they're behind me. Oh shit, they're behind me. They're everywhere. Holy crap. Kick them down, kick them down, get past them all. Get some space. <laughs> shit. Hey everyone, my name is Mike. Welcome back to Dying Light. In the last part, we made our way to Sector Zero, which is where we are right now. It's a new area in the game. It looks very different to where we've been before. A lot more tall buildings. And people are shooting at us as we speak. <laughs> and um, we've got some new friends to meet up with that we've been speaking to over the radio. Um, Troy, the girl's name is. And she's in this tower over there with the scaffolding on. So we're going to make our way towards that tower. And see if she can help us find Jade. And um, also once we find Jade, she's got the research notes for Dr. Camden. So we'll make our way to Dr. Camden once we find Jade. So let's get towards this um, this tower with the scaffolding on. It's the first time we've come here, so we'll have to figure out how we're going to climb it and, and actually get inside it. Looks fairly simple though, to be honest, to just follow the scaffolding route. Just whatever we can jump up to, we'll jump to. So this is definitely the right place because it's, it's telling us the safe zone is unlocked. Ooh, almost almost missed that jump there. Just gotta make sure it's the right way to go to. The arrow is pointing on the other side, so we're gonna try and make that jump right there. There we go. Easy enough. You can kind of, you can kind of tell where this place is you're meant to jump to with the rope. It's kind of like a subtle hint that um, you should go that way. Now if we can jump up here. So it's a pretty high tower. I think this is the only way into it, like through the roof. Hey, you're Crane, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. All right, so Troy is the girl on the radio that we've been speaking to. So the loft. Where's the loft? Is this? Did we go through this door? Here we go. We can open this. Crane, <laughs> it's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. Almost rigged a way to break through the calm jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. You're looking for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, do you know where she is? Jade, this is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade? Hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rise's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is, the GRE hired me, right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this, this classified file, but, but that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but... I talked them into waiting, because they want that research that you're carrying. Now we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. Jade? You bastard! Jade! Damn it. Crane, the last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her. So Jade is like extremely pissed of us right now, because um, her brother died when he was with us, and now she's just found out that we've kind of been lying to her. So she's major pissed. So let's um, zip line down here. I think this is the right, right way to go. We're making our way towards the university, where Jade's last whereabouts were known. Oh, fall off the roof. Um, okay, this place is all completely new. So. Okay, I think that's like a safe place you can land on if it's from a big height, you know, because it's like cushioned. Well, not cushioned, but it's like a blanket. Crane? Troy here. Copy. What is it, Troy? Savvy has an idea how to break through the radio jamming and contact the outside world. He'll be working on the radio jamming for Jay. That's fantastic. Let's hope he's on to something. I'll be in touch. And if I may make a suggestion. Avoid the infected if you can, okay? They've always been dangerous. But now, they're mutating into something even more deadly. She tells me to avoid the infected as they're grabbing me. 
These zombies are very clingy in this area. So it looks like we may be approaching the university right now. Gotta find a way in there. I have a gun for sledgehammer, so we gotta be careful. Right. What way can we go in? I think we'll go around the front of it and see if there's any options of jumping in. Alright, I'm seeing a route onto the roof there, from the roof opposite, so we'll make our way. I think it might be easier to get on that roof over there, so we'll go across that side first. This is the wood! I'm with a small child! We need help! They... They beat me! I'm turning! Please! We're in an apartment building, opposite the abandoned construction site in the corner district. I'm begging you! Help my son! I think that's a side mission right there that just popped up. The wood is in trouble. Who's this guy? Hey, buddy. Have you seen a woman named Jade Aldemir? She's got long, dark hair. She's tough as nails. Yeah, she was talking to... What's his name over there? Thanks. What? Who's what's his name? Over the other way. <laughs> There's a door we can go in. Jade? Jade! Are you here? Hello? Who are you? What do you want? Who's this guy? No sign of Jade. Damn it. Hey, 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 can you help me? I'm looking for a young woman, dark hair, petite, takes no shit from anyone. Her name's Jade Aldemir. Yes, she was here. You didn't miss her by too much. She waited around for a while with a big scowl on her face, and then took off. God damn it, did she, did she say where she was going? No. But your crane, right? She left this for you. That's a mirror. Why would she have left me this? Well, I can't say for certain. But she did ask me to tell you, not again. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. Hmm. Okay. So let's leave the university. Jade, this is Quain. Do you copy? Jade, can you hear me? Troy, this is Quain. Do you copy? Quain, I was just about to contact you. Savvy broke through the jamming and I think you better get back here. You have to see this. Why? What do I what do I have to see? You have to see it for yourself. Just get back here, alright? I'm serious. You're kidding me. I've got to get back to the tower again. Climb that bloody scaffold and stuff. It's hard enough to f it took enough time the first time. Oh, falling. Yeah. Alright, we've made it up here again. I hope this isn't like a central hub where we've got to come here often, because climbing up there is it's not it's not hard or like difficult, it's just annoying. No matter how many times I watch it, I still can't believe it. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that if verified implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was the last survivor left in the quarantine. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive, but as the president said in the speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military troops have searched for survivors all over the quarantine, but now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. Oh, the ministry did this. <laughs> They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane. Before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern, something the zombies could never do. Trouble is, we got a runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top floors. Too many biters. As much as I hate to admit it, none of the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. Well, we've got to do something right fucking now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. I tell Michael I'm on my way, and while I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? Try to get her to meet me. 
You have my word. I think that's a side mission right there when he said one more thing, so we'll avoid that for now. Just focus on the main story. So we need to meet with Michael in the sewers. We can jump on the zip line. I think Jade's been very like spoiled brat because like you know we're trying to save the rest of the people in all this city now, and she's just. Alright, that guy's just talking to me there about a side mission. I can hold up to track it. Just gonna ignore him. Yeah, but Jade, you know, she, she's like making a bad decision right now by being like sulking, you know? Anyway, let's make our way towards Michael. I wonder if we can make our way back to the um, the old um, Haran place, you know, the, the other side of the city. The poor side. Because um, there's quite a lot of side missions I didn't do back there. Huh. Go away! Go away! <laughs> Why do you want to kill me? Let's lure him into the zombies. Got no time to fight you bitches. I think I'm just running to the, like, the wrong place here. It's like a pit. Okay, this is actually the right place. This is the sewers right here. Let's just get down here. Escape all the zombies. Um, Which way are we going down here? Right, I think it's this way. Turn the flashlight on. Didn't make much of a difference, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. Hopefully that we can get up here. Okay, so I was like wildly running around there just trying to escape the people chasing me. And it turns out it's going the right way, so we're all right. we're okay. Alright, Michael should be not too far from here, I think. Um I think it's a dead end over there, isn't it? So we might have to go under the water again. And go underneath that doorway, the gate. I mean I hope this is the right way to go. It looks very similar to the way we came into this part of the city. Here we go, we got a surface here. So get your breath. Right, there's a flare. I think that was the flare he put down to let us know which way he'd gone. Maybe we'll take any any good goodies we can find as well. Actually guys, you know what? We got a weapon in the last part. Um it looked pretty good, the billhook blade. It's got quite good damage, 135 for a one handed weapon. So it's a pretty fast swinging weapon, and it's also um, damaging. So we upgrade, we're going to upgrade this, I think. I don't like the fire effect, and we haven't got any materials to make the other stuff. So I'm going to make um, more bleeding damage, just because I think that works quite well. Even though it is the lowest version, the green version, you know, it's it's not that bad. Adds 14 extra damage to it. Let's see what this hook blade looks like now. So it's, it's like it is a hook blade. It's got no blade attached attached to the back of it, and there's just a loud noise that's just happened out there. What's going on? So we we'll grab onto this where the flare is, make our way through this side. We've got a bloater there. Um, <laughs> there we go. Blow them up. Any more of them? Actually, there's quite a lot of zombies down here, isn't there? Just gotta be careful now. Yeah, I just I, I prefer bladed weapons over blunt ones anyway. It just feels like when you're aiming for the neck, it's it's just a lot easier to do that than it is to try and crush a zombie's head. You mean you can use two-handed weapons, but it uses a lot more stamina. And I, I, don't, I don't know. Although there's a lot more damage, I feel like the stamina loss is not worth it. Better to hack and slash and keep enemies at bay than having to like hit one enemy. Then you can't really do anything apart from kick for a bit. After the oh, oh no, we're having a seizure. God, this isn't good. We need. To we haven't had Anderson for a long time, actually. I don't think. So we're probably going to pass out soon, and um, maybe Michael's going to save us. Fuck! Oh, I thought you were a biter. Why you got to sneak up on a guy like that? Jesus! You almost gave me a heart attack. Need to tell him we need some answers in. I didn't mean to scare you, Michael. Okay, ooh, okay. Troy said you were on your way. God, I'm glad she didn't see me jump like that. She'd never take me seriously. You got a little crush, huh? How could I not? Have you met her? That's why I volunteered for this. But so you're risking your life with a horde of flesh-eating zombies to impress a girl? Mate, before the outbreak, the most impressive thing I'd ever done was win a spelling bee, okay? 
Troy would have never even looked at me, so I'll take my opportunities where I can. All right, fair enough. Tell me what needs to happen here. Uh, well, okay, um, I tried to finish the job, but I couldn't get past the ninth floor. All right, leave it to me. What needs to happen is you take these explosives, turn on the gas ovens, and plant charges in a few specific apartments. Well, that'll make a pattern, huh? One nobody outside Haran could mistake as random. If they can explain this shit away, we are all gonna be really fucking impressed. Now, if you're ready, your first stop is on the 10th floor. Alright, so let's get this message sent by sending off a few patterned explosive, explosions. Alright, so where are we going? We need to get the explosives. Let's take them all, I think. I think that's what we're meant to do. Let's go. Alright, so this side is meant to be like pretty dangerous now. I mean, he couldn't get past on his own, but apparently we're pretty badass, so we'll be okay. Oh shit. Alright, so that's locked. Um, what floor are we on now? I think we need to go to the 10th floor. I think that is the 10th floor, but we can't get in. So we might have to go on the floor above and drop down somehow. So there's quite a lot of zombies like being destroyed up here. There we go, we've got a lift shaft. Oh, okay. That's not going to go down anymore, is it? Um, there's a doorway. So we're calling the lift. Oh, and there's another door. Didn't even see that. So let's go to floor 10. I mean, we're on our, no, on our own now, in a dangerous place, and we're in the middle of having seizures, so this is not going to go well. What the? Damn it. Something must have blocked this shaft. So we're only on the fifth floor. Can we, um, can we get out of here? Okay, hello. <laughs> Didn't see that guy. Oh, oh shit. Damn it. Yeah, 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 for now. Alright, so we're having seizures while climbing up to the 10th floor. I mean, look at this. We, we can barely even see. Never mind, hold on. Okay, we're on the 9th floor right now. 10th floor is the one above. I think the ninth, the 10th floor is closed, though, so we might have to get, drop off. Might have to get off the 9th. Oh, don't fall, you idiot. Alright, so we're at the 9th floor. Probably have to get off here. Make our way up one more floor using the stairs. This is the door to the stairs. Oh, the door's blocked. That's not good. Right, there's a hole in the ceiling here. That's good. Good job that couch fell down, isn't it? What caused that? What the hell caused that? Michael, I'm on the tenth floor. Great. Look for apartments 105, 106, 134, and 137. Alright, hopefully there's waypoints on the map for that, because I did not listen. 105, 106, they're next to each other, that's not hard to remember. Boom! One shot! Nice. Alright, so we're going to stay on the 10th floor, that's the um, stairs going up. So we'll have to go maybe around this way. I don't know what it- oh god, blows out! Is he going to blow himself up? Oh god, back up, back up. Where's he gone? I don't know where the bloater guy went. I think he's behind this guy now. Oh no, that's, that's, that's a plant. Right, where's this guy gone? He was in this doorway here, wasn't he? He must have blown himself up. I think that's his body, his legs. I don't know what it is, but in games I just love um, scavenging through apartments. <gasps> oh, doggy. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Zombie dogs. That's what we haven't seen in this game, actually. Get wrecked. Alright, so is this one of the apartments we're going in? It looks like it might be. Let's just kill that guy. Oh my god, this weapon is good. Against, against basic zombies. We are wrecking them. That's the instant escape ability just right there. I just did. 
Yeah, bladed weapons are definitely better, I think. Let's um, take any goals that we can find as well for medkits. So we need to turn the gas cock on, don't we, or something? Put the seat, put the explosion aside. Put it on a timer. Okay, I'm done with the first apartment. Good work. Get to the next one. So the next one should be next door. 105. Okay. Where's the kitchen? Oh. I love the way you chop off the limbs as well, if you hit them in the arms instead. Alright, second apartment's done. wrong? Michael! I've got some company here. I'll oh, get back, you bastards! Michael, get out of there! Get to safety! No, I can hold him off. You've got to finish the job. I'm not going anywhere until this is done. Took his arms and legs off there. So Michael's in trouble. Gotta get this job done as quick as possible. See if we can get down and help him. Ow. No bandage up here. Oh, there was an exploding one there. Good job we didn't get any closer, he would have killed me. Let's throw the star at that. <laughs> Shit. There's a guy that. Oh, that hurts, that hurts a lot. I shouldn't have actually made that noise. That was kind of silly, I think. I think we didn't even kill any zombies with that. That was a complete waste. And now he's going to blow up because I hit him in the back. Alright, this is not going well. We're not actually getting that many zombies coming after us though. I think it's because we're kind of indoors as well. Ow. Need to repair the weapon. Alright, so I think the, the other two buildings we need to do. Oh, actually, they're on the floor above it, looks like. Well, one of them is. Maybe the other one is on this floor. Oh, no, it seems like they're all on the other floor above. Could we not have gone higher? On the stairs? Okay, there's a hole in the ceiling here. Alright, this is one of the rooms we need to go to. It's on this floor. There's an exploding guy in there. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that red mist of blood there. Hey! Just gotta keep watching our backs in here. Whoa, shit! What was that? What was that? I don't even know, not even know what that was. Alright, so I need to find the kitchen in here. Here we go. It's not exactly a kitchen, it's just a cooker on its own. <laughs> just gonna try and get out of here. Get this get the job done as quick as possible now. I'm not gonna spend any time looting. I need a baby crying. Is it is that a child crying? Oh, it's a baby zombie. That's the first time we've seen one of them. I've got no problem killing that. It's a zombie. Fuck, what is this? They're behind me. Oh shit, they're behind me. They're everywhere. Holy crap. Kick them down, kick them down, get past them all. Get some space. <laughs> shit. There's a spitter over there, I want to take care of that guy first. Okay, they're all over me. Let's get the Molotovs out. Look how many there are over there. <laughs> Burn! Oh god. They're everywhere. Behind me again. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Alright, so let's get inside here now. See if we can kill this baby. Are we gonna kill it? Is it dead? I didn't even do anything to it. Can we close the door? No. 
Alright, let's get this job done now and make, make an escape. Okay, all done. Great, and uh, if you could get back down here, I wouldn't turn down a helping hand at this point. Alright, where is the escape? I think we jumped through a hole in the floor first. Hey, oh, you sneaky fucker! Jesus Christ! Michael? Listen, if I don't make it, you have to go get off me! Grab the detonator! Get the hell out of here and blow this place! Michael, get the fuck out of there and head back to Troy right now! Just leave the detonator! Michael! Michael! Shit. I can't remember which way we came. I think there's a hole in the floor somewhere on this section. Actually, no, it was the lift shaft, wasn't it? Can we use the lift? Here we go, we can try it or something. Right, so let's, um... Oh no, we need to get in the middle of it, don't we? Okay, we made it. <laughs> Last time we did that, we um, tried to jump to the side and fell to our death. So, um, can we get down the hole? Take the use the elevator to get back to the first floor. Oh no. Shit. So I think Michael's like most likely dead. Here's where he was. And there's loads of zombies down here. There's a big guy. You shit. Uh, let's just run past all these zombies. We haven't really got time to be playing around. There's a fat guy over there. Oh shit, I meant to throw a star. Didn't realise I had a Molotov equipped. Um, trying to just get some breathing space. Alright, let's get past these zombies. Some fire there. Go for the door, go for the door. Okay, I hope you're alright, Michael. Alright, I think Michael's dead. I am. Okay, there's the um, explosive the detonator. Leave the building and that detonator charges. Let's get out of here, make an escape. Hey, big guy. Got no time to be playing around with you. So let's climb the ladder, let's get around him. Where are we going? I think we're jumping up there. Alright, here we go. Surface. That's not quite. <laughs> Almost there. There's a doorway there we can go through. Okay, that was the tower that we were just in. We came out through the sewers. At least it worked. Isn't there like a pattern in the explosions that's meant to happen? Great, we see it. Great job. Thanks, Hope. It's a sad face. You had any contact with Jade? Great. Jade, is that you? Great. I heard what you did. I see what you did. Okay, so, do you believe me now that I'm on your side? <laughs> Why have they done that? Sons of bitches. You've got to contact the GRE. They must stop the Ministry from bombing the city. Look, I know, but I lost my one and only way to reach them. Guys, listen. Savvy's figured out a way to break through the jamming. He just needs your help to do it. Okay, Jade, you heard that? We have to meet. Yeah. All right. Meet me in that red building on Emerald Canal. We'll go from there. And Crane, be careful. The infected here are even more ferocious than the ones in the slums. Alright, so uh, the GRE actually destroyed that within seconds of it being up. So that the whole, whole mission we just did there was a waste of time. And um, Jade's actually speaking to us now, so we'll meet up over here in the next part, guys. Let's take care of this zombie.
All right, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. See ya.